What is up, risk takers? Welcome to the Kill Pete Strategy. I am Pete. I am a top player in the game of Risk Global Domination. I have a daily release on YouTube and a stream on Twitch almost as often. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and come along the ride with me. I should say I'm a top player in the game of Caps Global Domination because I guess I have to play Caps. Let's see. Oh, we're first to act. Okay. The London cap is strong. Good open. I think we take it. Get the London Iceland compact there, which is an okay start. An okay place to hunker down. Uh, settings for this game. We're playing Capital Conquest on Europe Advanced. Progressive cards. Expert 60. Balance Blitz Dice. Alliances um, are off, fog and blizzards are on, and portals are off, and we have an automated bot. Okay. Bot cap's right next to me. Probably a good thing, meaning I get a second cap at some point in the early game. Pink contest? Yeah, well, pink's a bot, guys. So, pink being a bot is probably a good thing. Hanging out on Twitch. Nice to see all of these fine folks. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna play it reasonably safe and take, oh God, come on. Yeah, all right. <laughs> play it reasonably safe and take one bonus off the top. Okay, so I'm trying to, right now in the early game, what you're trying to do is you're trying to figure out where your opponents are going. Like yellow's putting in into Scandinavia bonus. I figure I'll have pink bot on my border. I'll be able to push through there, get a second cap, probably hold France. Don't yet know who's in Spain, but a three stack there might live long enough to figure out who takes it. Okay, bot gets six, adds to that. Watch it roll 10v5 and make me lose the game. Yes, good. Bot goes the other way, cleans out a lot of material for me. How lovely. Takes France and leaves me with an unguarded capital. I love you. Sometimes you just get the luckiest opens in the whole world. <laughs> How many troops? Two? Thank you, bot. Thank you so much. Yeah, the blizzard in Norway um, makes the London cap even stronger. So I have a one point cap guard on a plus three and a plus two. Also going to be able to steal France quickly. My, my job for next turn is to take that cap. Pete, don't fuck this up. Thank you, Orange. <laughs> what a nice thing to say. All right, we don't see any of red. We don't see purple's cap. We don't really see anyone else's caps, interestingly. So I have my corner pretty well locked up. Purple puts in behind me. That is dumb. He's going to take Iceland. And break. Ah, okay. Interesting play. Okay, so now I definitely take the second cap. Ah, uh, blues in Africa, okay. Cool, cool, cool. Blue's here. Yellow's here. Uh, purple wasted troops in Iceland, which tells me they're quite new. Yep. That is just fine like that.
Marble's going to put some amount of troops on Scotland thinking they can take England and then open my cap, at which point I pop it. All right, how much did yellow start with? Yellow had the bonus? Yeah. Okay, so yellow's going to expand out this way into Russia. So we have me, we have yellow, we have blue. I don't know where red is, and purple is here, but they wasted some material. Yellow's expanding aggressively. It made more sense to take a second cap and take the bot cap um, than it did to clear out purple from behind me, because now I have two caps. So I very I I have a single strong defensive position that gets me plus four. Now purple doesn't necessarily know I'm here yet, so we don't see how much he's putting. Okay, is red getting plus ten? Maybe they have this. If red has one, two, three, four, five territories, no, it'd be worth more than plus ten. So what do they have? What does red have that would be giving them plus ten? Okay, Pearl will put how much of that on the three? This is the hinge. Looks like none. Looks like they put none of that on the three. Good. I clean out the Iceland pocket. Yeah, and he pulls in. Watch him have like a fucking 10 stack back there. South Africa, someone capped. Okay, blue's going to take this. And blue's going to come out of here or out of here. So I'm going to be natural enemies with blue. Yeah, they did. They did. Get lucky, Pete. This is, this is the hinge. Yeah, not lucky. Come on. Good dice. I need really good dice right now. Did not get it. Can't believe someone. This is the risk of playing with, uh, with novices, right? Um, you end up with people who make just so surprisingly terrible decisions that accidentally ruin your game. Like... No one in their right mind, without a cap up there, would care about a plus two in a progressive game, right? But a newer player doesn't know that. So the problem is that I was expecting to have a strong position, but now having to have fought for it, purple and purple loses in both ways. Purple eventually loses this fight with me and also loses their cap probably in the process. Thank you. Open your mind. Thank you so much for the gift subs. Appreciate it. Would you look at that? Five gift subs, thank you. Okay, Magenta Prop probably hit here, so Blue's gonna have some material to work on that will slow him down, but I'm fucked, right? I'm, I'm one of the have-nots. Good thing we're playing progressive because um, I end up being one of the have-nots in this game. At least in the opener. No, his cap's definitely not in Iceland. I did see that at the beginning of the game. I saw both halves of Iceland. Okay, so purple's going to put a ton here now and cut back to hit my cap. I can actually leave them behind me probably for most of the game. How much does he commit? Commits five troops to a plus two. He really wants a second position.
Yep, and holds in. Okay. So now what I do is I take and don't break. Let's see if he lets me hold it. And add to the caps. What did blue get? Blue started with 12. Yeah, so blue's expanding out of here. Maybe this is a friendly move. Let's see if purple lets me hold it. We've now moved through the third turn and I'm just establishing my position. Whereas blue and yellow are getting a ton of troops and occupying a ton of board. I think purple's down here in the corner. So what purple should have been doing is they should have been expanding out of here, but they've been wasting material up in Iceland fighting with me. Purple needs to keep breaking me. No, he doesn't. I'm happy to leave him behind me forever. Then I get two free cards and the kill guard. The conclusion that purple needs to keep breaking me is predicated upon Iceland being important to purple's game, which it isn't. It's a plus two. He doesn't know my cap is here yet. But he will, but don't get me wrong. He will break me because he's not very good. <laughs> he doesn't need to break me. I think him breaking me is incorrect. Okay, so red got broken in the middle. I think red's in the middle. So here's how I think everyone is. Purple is here and here. Blue is here. Red is here. The bot is here. Yellow is across the top. You can logically assume your play is in London. Yeah, again, you're, you're thinking this guy's better than he is. I think this guy is terrible. Uh-oh. Lost connection. That's not good. <laughs> oh. Okay. What did blue start with? 12. Okay. When do we see blue? Maybe blue's moving up into Italy and fighting instead of taking... Okay. Well... Let's see if yellow has Germany. The bot does. Great. That's actually okay. I'm just going to leave a light group guard there. No point in really guarding. And now we're already at the point where it's unlikely purple's going to punch through me. So I can leave them behind me for a long time and maybe steal that kill. What did yellow get? Yellow set. I think yellow might be in a war. Either that or he is aggressively expanding. Bot's going to get cards probably on four and set. I think yellow's just aggressively expanding. Okay. Bot gets eight still for not having a cap. That means they have Germany and they set next to me. Cool. So they break here and open my cap again. 
No bonuses for Pete yet. It's okay. I often play these settings with a no bonus game and do just fine. Pete, I'll send you something in DMs. You probably won't. You probably can't. So what would you like to tell me? I prefer public conversations anyways, for the most part. Part of me wants to take Spain, but the other part of me says it's not worth it because then blue sees me and I go to war with blue. <laughs> Cosmic Cowboy says, I'm going to publicly converse this dick in your mouth. Cosmic Cowboy. Oh my goodness. Hmm. I think Purple's playing it like a progressive game, not a progressive Caps game. I'm going to be forced to set and get the eight. Unless blue sets now. Blue's just kind of hunkering down. See if he lets me take Spain. Ah, we leave a bot seven there. We definitely leave a bot seven. And that will tell us when Blue gets the bread idea to start coming up into Spain. Hi, Pete. How was your day? I'm good, Digio. How are you? Welcome in, sir. Yellow still getting a ton of troops? No, someone is stopping them. Good. There are, there are now wars happening in the middle that I'm not involved in. I have all of my troops on cap. Feeling good about this opener. Okay, bot getting three now. No bonus for you. Bot's probably only in these spots. Also, surprisingly, no one in Orient. No one capped here. This would have been a very good cap, I would betcha. That or that, either way, Bulgaria or... Okay, red getting nine. What do I do? Where do I expect blue to be? How many unorganized parts of this board remain? Oh, fugness. Pete, just had to tell you, you know, you're a sexy mofo. Thank you. Back at you, sir. Right back at you. Okay. Purple sets in with the 12 set. Do we see any material behind my cap? Oh, Cosmic gets the gift sub from Open Your Mind. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Orange says, although I don't play Risk much like I used to, sometimes I'll drop by and say hi. Good. I'm glad y'all enjoy it however much you want. We don't see where purple actually is. Cool. There's purple. Yeah. Now purple's going to work on Orient. They don't. Huh. 
Okay. Did Blue still getting? Yes. There's Blue's huge stack. Don't hit my cap. Oh, they're going to try and kill Magenta. No, they just moved back to a strong guard. Okay. Fine with that. Uh, cards. Blue sees that I have two caps. Blue sees that I don't go aggressive with them. I think we're getting very close to finishing off Magenta Bot. That seems like a dangerously big stack from Blue. I think that's their only stack. They probably have something equivalent to the seven blocking the seven. So my guess is their cap is somewhere on the outside of this bonus or here and that's their itinerant stack so they might have a cap guard here in uh in morocco what did yellow get yellow got 13 okay and the bot has puts in plus three so i think the bot might be here here and a little bit left in germany that i can't see once we see the bot starting to put material on parts we can see we know that they are the fish Right now, I, I betcha, 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 Purple hollows out this pocket on their next turn. Red got 13. Okay, so we have a, we have a jockeying for position in the middle between red, yellow, and blue. Uh, blue, red, and yellow, I'm thinking is what's happening. Purple is here and, and stacking. Blue is here and stacking. Purple's obviously behind me too which nobody knows about except me in purple. Okay, red coming in, trying to find out what's on the bottom of this map. Okay, there goes the last little bit of magenta there. Sees, sees purple's nice big guard. Do we see a purple stack come out? Finish. Orient bonus. 20. All. Going into red. Purple is involving himself in the board. Cool. I don't know that I can kill Magenta. I really want to. In the long term, who do you think is losing first? Well, I think the bot's going to die. I think the bot's going to die now, actually. I think Blue kills the bot now. Pops off his cap to hit the seven and the one. Yes. Magenta dies. Right now. Uh-huh. Okay. What's the set? 25? I'm going to ask, this is my way of asking, I'm going to ask Blue if he would like to let me have something. Blue has a stack here or no? No. 
that is my way of asking. Leaves my caps open. If he breaks, I know he wants to break, but I haven't showed any aggression to blue. So we found blue's cap. I'm very happy with how this is progressing. Do you plan on having children? <laughs> we spoke about this yesterday. Um, I do not plan on having children. Um, but I am uh, becoming more open-minded to the possibility again. I was with a partner and we d decided not to. And then I got the uh, elective surgery, which um, what a relief it is to not have accidental children. Um, but now that I am no longer with that person, I am open-minded to having a family at some point. Okay. Something happened to purple. Okay, now blue is super strong. So I don't think he lets me have Spain. I think he takes it for himself. But maybe he lets me have it. Ooh, sets in with a 40. The answer is no. He does not let me have. If I was blue, I'd let you have it. An open cap and an ally, pretty good deal. Yep. But as you guys see, I am playing lower ranked opponents, which is probably for the best. Because this way... They hit each other inevitably. Oh, we got a little, uh, little stretch redeem. All right, let's do it. Is yellow a bot? Yes. Okay, yellow botted. Cool. Red getting 19.
Strong bot. Didn't want to trade on three. I had two jokers. Still don't want to trade on three, but I on four, but I will, because blue's getting real, real right up in my fucking face. <sighs> I don't know that he hits the cap. If he does, that'll be an interesting tell. There's no way for me to get in on him. He has such a strong pocket. If and when we see purple pop out of here, we know that they're weak. Who could kill you if they said, oh yeah, oh yeah, he could. The decision to not trade both jokers was not a decision I made lightly. Purple sets with a 50. Cool. They're involving themselves in a war here. Red. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. <laughs> we just saw purple delete. 120 troops. That is just perfect what I needed to happen right now. Blue has other problems. <sighs> Sets in gets the 55. That goes like this. You poke the bear, purple. <laughs> yeah. He's chasing. Do we do we see the pressure alleviate off the 31? All of this jockeying for position people do in the early game. Yes, we do see the pressure leave. Fuck yeah. Okay. Again, I'll try to sue for peace with blue by just taking France. Not breaking Spain. You see what I'm doing, blue? Do you understand that we could be friends? Yes? I would prefer to have a friend in this game than no friends at all. Okay, yellow bot strong. We still have three players in this middle position. Purple causing trouble, yellow bot causing trouble, red player and blue. Great. I have a kill guard on purple. Carter. Chad Carter would like to know, who do you look up to the most? Like, who's your greatest inspiration? Um, hmm. Heroes. I often try not to personify heroes. I try not to buy too much into the bullshit of 
this great man did these great things. I, I, I much prefer to focus on the great things. I find acts inspirational more than men. Um, yeah, I was thinking Arnold. I was. Arnold Schwarzenegger kind of exemplifies that mythical hero in a number of ways for a guy my age. Um, he played all those characters in the movies and then his, his own life story, right? The story of becoming, you know, a human Hercules, a multimillionaire, the highest paid actor in Hollywood, um, and the governor of California, <laughs> notwithstanding that is a, an accomplished life. So I would say Arnold Schwarzenegger would be the one that jumps out to me. What about my dad? My dad, um, I absolutely love my father. Is he an inspiration? Sure. Certainly. Ooh, hi, Purple. Are you only behind me now? Oh, no. Is that your last position? Oh, he's a bot. I got a card farm behind me. <clears throat> Lovely. All right, so here's what we do. We hope the bot takes that one more and doesn't set. What's the set? 65? I think we just kill it. Why is everyone playing these settings? How can they like something I don't like? I don't like these settings um, in the way that you mean it. I'm playing these settings partially because they are the only viable settings to reach the top rank in the current system. The, the ones that I can find. Yeah, they're the meta settings. People don't actually like them. Okay. I think I let the bot have one more card. And blue let me hold a bonus. How lovely. Thinking way too much about that extra card. Is the popularity of these settings Bud's fault? No. The popularity of these settings is the ranking system still being Broken's fault. You can maybe get top 50 playing zombies, but you can't get to the top. The only way to get to the top is playing progressive capitals. Yellow bot sets. Red getting 21. Okay, so red is here, blue is here, yellow bot is here, purple bot is here. I'm going to kill purple bot and then be in a three player game with yellow AI. ET played these settings before Spud, though, if I remember right. No, um, Spud made these settings for the Q2 tournament or Q1 tournament round two, um, my second most popular video of all time used these exact settings, and that would have been in January this year. I don't know when ET came around. And they were great. They were great settings for a tournament. I love them. Don't get me wrong. I wouldn't do something I didn't find fun. This is fun and interesting. Did Redbot 2? No! I'm in a 1v1 with blue. Oh, no. This is not a good time to be in a 1v1 with blue. Oh, no. Attack down. Open my cap, please. Yes. Okay. I don't have to set. I don't have to waste my joker. All right. I kill the bot. Take the three cards. Set. Blue getting 22. Does blue realize he's in a 1v1 with me? Hmm. 
And we get the random raid. Thank you so much again. Random 595, thank you. What a gentleman you are. Hope you had a great stream, sir. Thank you, thank you. Looks like blue is hitting yellow, which is good. Okay, we see blue doing a lot of attacking. Maybe gets involved with red, which is just dandy for me staying out of trouble. We see him doing a lot of attacking. Great. And then red will reciprocate and then they'll be at war with each other. And I just stay out of the way. Okay. First things first, let's kill the bot. Oh, and let's force trade a joker, obviously. Great systems, great systems in place. Ooh, okay. Blue has yellow's original cap. There's red. Okay. Did blue go all the way around? What was their plan? Okay, and then red's down there. Now I see the map. I didn't offend anyone too, too much with any of those moves. Or I tried my best not to. Two Pixie with the prime sub. Thank you. Thanks for being Pete. I can't help it. I was born this way. <laughs> welcome, welcome, welcome. Okay. Yellow bot expanding out of here. Providing a nice little cushion to Blue's pocket. And breaks. Opens my cap. Great. Providing a nice little cushion to my caps. Great. Attack a blue, he might... I attack a lot of blue, he might be angry with me. Sure. I mean, it wasn't obviously aggressive to blue. But blue did go aggressive to red, I think. Is red a bot? Fuck, it's just me and blue. Okay. We are in a 1v1 with two bots. Got it. Let's see how blue plays it. I don't think they're very good, so... Maybe I'm underestimating them at the moment? They don't have cards for two turns. Blue only has two caps, I only have two caps. The other two caps are located where? Do we know? I don't think we know. We know one is here, I think. One of these positions. Purple's original cap. I don't know where the final cap is. How many troops do I think blue has? Tough to say right now. Yeah, hit some bot. I'm gonna go see who's down here. There it is. Good. Now I have a second position and a third cap. Feeling good. Ask me a question. What do you think of the longevity of the games with these settings? Last night I saw Stumbino have a five-hour game with these settings. I also saw Stumbino have a five-hour game with these settings. 
Um, partially because Stumbino sucks at risk. I love you, Stumbino. He's a he's a really good sport when I break his balls. Um, just to to clarify, um, no, it's because Stumbino decided to play uh, intermediate plus and got into a stalemate. Um, and his opponent played well enough to keep him off the win for five fucking hours. Um, <laughs> but it was a fun watch, and he made it fun. He made watching a Caps game for five hours fun. I kept tuning back in. I was like, oh, how is he not dead? Okay, I think this is all of red now. So I think I can kill red this. No, because I don't have a line to the 30. Let's see what red does. Adding there is good for me. Okay, 31 expands like that. I think I lined myself up to get the kill on red, but can't actually take it yet. Mm hmm. Who's your favorite MTG commander? Um, my favorite deck is a Timna Krom partner's deck. So four color, no green. And my best commander is Karn, Silver Golem. Okay, I'm hoping that the red bot opens the line off my 65 for me to kill it without setting. Actually, I should go pop pop then. Oh, I don't know what to do. One, two, three. Tap guard. Get a card. Trying to kill Red Bot, but they're going to set on four. And the sets are 90? Yeah, 95. Hmm. Pete's scummy Karn deck, let me kill your lands. Have you seen the list? I don't really do a lot of LD and fucking command. Did I like the Brothers War? So I haven't read cards in about a year. Um, so the criticism you keep hearing about Wizards making too many sets definitely applies to me because I want to get back into the game. But because they're cranking up production at a higher and higher rate, um, it's really hard for me. Catch up. Doesn't look like the bot is breaking. Why is the bot go so slowly why does it stay in draft for fucking a third of his turn five cards and i'm not gonna be able to snag it fuck open open one more damn it damn it all right let's see if blue snags it I bet you they do. I bet you Blue Season has enough material. I have 143 on my cap. Sure. So I have to punch through a 32. And then how much more to get there? Ah, you know what? Maybe punching through a 32 isn't that big of a deal. I'll try it. It's sad to see your favorite favorite game go overboard with new stuff. Lots of series do it these days. Everyone looking for more, more, more. You think Red's fake botting? I don't think Red's fake botting. I think that's the way the uh, the AI is now. All right, well, we'll try it, guys.
Yeah, looks like it works. Ooh. 36 cap. Look at that. And now we go bad neighbor to blue. Okay. Oh, baby, with the kilted raid. Thanks, bro. What's up, kilted? How's your stream, sir? And okay, we find the final cap. So blue has two caps. One in Morocco, one in southern Sweden. I feel like I got a lot of troops on him, too. So that's in with 105. Do we blow it into a cap? Or do we take a look around? We blow it into a cap. Cool. Great. That is awesome. We don't freeze Morocco cap yet. We make them blind over there and we go uh, one, two, three, four. I think for some lock there. There. Let's try that. Hillpeace Strategist Alert, Cosmic Cowboy has the best YouTube channel in the world where he destroys all the players that you thought were good at risk. You thought wrong. Okay. He has three caps. I have three caps. Spot sets in. Don't roll my 61. No! That's bad news baseball. Fuck. This is how, this is actually how Stumbino lost, right? He lost to bots hitting it, or not lost, but took way too long to win. Um, he lost to bots for only, oh, thank God. <laughs> Fuck. Okay, we got a super strong bot in the middle of the board. Avery 2D Goddess, what is my favorite color? Uh, aqua blue. Teal, turquoise. All right, 13 a turn. Oh, 
But Blue quit. I win. Okay. That's a GG. And this is why you play these settings, ladies and gentlemen. For better or worse, if you are trying to play ranked, the only way to make it to the top ranks is to play Capital Conquest. Try to reserve judgment and just show like I do with my show. Just show how things are. Moment. And that is blue in a single position. Cool. I take his cap next turn. And that's a GG. What Dinkinator would like to know, what settings do you use to attack faster? Ladies and gentlemen, who would like to answer the question for Dinkinator? How do I attack fast? Use PC. Uncle Gonad. <laughs> That's a great name. <laughs> you uninstall the game. That's not the answer. That's Alt F4. <laughs> Does that shut it down? Is Alt F4 shut down? Uncle Gonad is actually French for Unc Le Gonad. <laughs> and that is the rest of the story. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Stick around on Twitch when I'm done on YouTube. Hope you all found some of it fun and entertaining, maybe even a little bit educational and informative. If you are interested in getting better at the game of Risk, I invite you to subscribe to my channel. Come along the ride with me. I have a daily release on YouTube. I stream on Twitch almost as often. You can check my page for the upcoming schedule, I now have a winter schedule. Post in blue was a master. Uh, purple was an expert. That purple was an expert. <laughs> Fucking putting a buttload of early troops in Iceland like that was going to matter. Um, and then red and uh, yellow were beginners. Um, hope you enjoyed, folks. I'm still on my mission. Aloysius Munch, why don't you munch this? Uh, <laughs> I'm still on my mission to grow risk into. It's Destiny. If you are interested in supporting me on that mission, there's a couple of ways. You can subscribe to my YouTube as a member and join my Patreon. You can come on the Killbeat Discord and click the notifications, get notifications for when I go live and catch the next stream. I really, really do hope you enjoyed the show. Try my best to make it the most fun and entertaining risk content I can for you. So thank you. I love you. And for all of you on the path to world domination, good games and good luck.